I started um, Cancer Outreach in 1999 when I was invited to join the staff of Rhode Island Cancer Council. And the Cancer Council ended up being something other than was originally planned. Um, we, as soon as we went live with the public, we started to get questions about free mammograms, where can I get a colonoscopy, I have no insurance, I can't afford to pay for my drugs. Um, and then as we paid more attention to statistics, we realized there was a need for education. And so my experience um, comes out of the Cancer Council, um, designing education programs. As a matter of fact, the um, Pink Spirit program, which we do in high schools, which is an education program we designed there, um, was actually my first entree to the Gloria Gemma Foundation. Because when we went out for the first few classes at the first few schools, we realized there was something missing. And we decided we needed to find breast cancer survivors. And so we reached out. The foundation had just started. And we reached out to the foundation to ask if they had access to breast cancer survivors who could come to the schools and share their personal experiences. And so as the Cancer Council budget dwindled, um, we knew that we would be going part time. Uh, we thought we were closing, and so I had reached out to Maria Gemma, our executive director, to ask if I could volunteer um, for them and while I job hunted. And less than a week later, I received a phone call and met with Maria and Gary Calvino, who is our director of development, and they offered me the position of community outreach coordinator, specifically for what we now call the Hope Bus. If women don't have insurance and they're 40 years old, the state has a program for free mammograms. I started seeing a lot of different things about the foundation and I thought, you know, I need, I need to find out more about this agency. And it was actually a call from uh, Gary Calvino or Maria, and I forgot who it was, and we got together. And what I realized in that brief conversation with Maria and Gary is that they have the same passion and commitment you know, that the women's cancer screening staff have at the department, you know, Maria and Linnea. Um, and what we found was that we treat every woman as an individual who deserves respect and every woman is different. Today we're doing art. Oh, you just doing art. Um, we're decorating rocks. Decorating rocks. Um, with messages of hope. Um, for our garden at our event in October. Oh. So you're welcome to do that today if you want to. We don't have anybody who's written any message in Spanish. That would be a nice thing to do.